Hey everyone, welcome to another Heroes and Bosses video. I've had a number of people mention that they like the way I paint the lenses of my Adeptus Mechanicus units, so I figured I'd do a video on it. To show this, I'll be using one of the faceplates from an Armager Warglaive from 40k, which I've primed in black. These are the four colors I'll be using, and I'm putting them all onto a wet palette, though this isn't necessary, just a preference. As you can see, I'm already off to a good start with these GW pots. So I've laid down some Warpstone Glow and a bit of Moot Green. I'm laying down a little extra Moot Green so I can mix some White Scar into it. I'm also laying down a bit of extra White Scar and putting a tiny amount of Moot Green into it just to tint it a bit. Finally, I'm adding a bit of pure White Scar and some Abaddon Black, which I'm mixing into the Warpstone to get a darker green. Now that all the colors are down, I'm mixing in a few drops of water with each so that each one is nice and thin like a wash or a watery glaze. Alright, I'm starting with the darkest green and I'm putting a thin layer of this completely over both lenses. Now basically what I'll be doing here is starting with the darkest color on the top left and then getting lighter and lighter all the way down to the bottom right. Now I'm doing a second and third layer of the darkest green, but this time I'm not touching the top left corner. All of my brush strokes are going to be semicircles that get smaller and smaller as I work towards the bottom right. If you do get too much green on the top left, then just go back to your black and darken it down a bit. Now I'm switching to pure Warpstone Glow, and just like before, I'm doing little curves focused on the bottom right corner and using really thin layers. At this point, I'm doing roughly half of the eye with my paint. So this is about three layers of Warpstone later, and I feel like I lost too much of my dark green, so I'm going to do one layer of that between this green and the black. Next I'm moving on to the Moot Green, and I'm only using this on probably the bottom 20% of the eye. I'm just making a crescent moon shape here on the bottom right of each eye. Now I'm just smoothing out the edge between the warp stone and the moot green with a little extra of the warp stone. To do this a bit better, however, I'm going to mix a halfway color and just add that to the spot where these two colors meet. My goal here is to get a smooth transition between each color so you get a gradual shift from light to dark. So you do have to go back and forth to correct yourself sometimes. Now I'm switching to the Moot Green and White Mix, and this is just going to be a thin line on the very edge of the eye. Years ago, I'd sometimes screw this up so bad that I'd just repaint the entire eye black and start over. After you've done it a few times though, it's pretty easy, it just takes a little patience. Now I've got the White Scar with just a slight tint of the Moot Green in it, and I'm putting a little dab in the center of the last line I painted. And the final step is just to put a small dot of pure white in the top left corner. And that's all there is to it. As always, thank you to my patrons for supporting these videos, and a special thanks to Brian Jones for sponsoring the channel. I hope you guys like this one, and thanks for watching.